Hey guys, how are you? So, what's going on? Some people have asked me about these things right here. These are my speakers. So I'm going to overlay a video right here. And you can see a close-up. Now, these are Bang & Olufsen speakers. They're kind of iconic. Um, I've been an audiophile for decades now. Not a crazy, crazy audiophile who goes nuts with cables and stuff, but a little bit crazy. And um, so I just recently, last couple of years, got into Bang & Olufsen. So I bought these things recently, these uh, speakers that you see. And they're the best sounding speakers I've ever heard. Uh, I've heard $150,000 systems, these things rival. There's three reasons why you'd buy B and O. Uh, number one is aesthetics. You notice they're very aesthetics. They're like artwork. Now I have, you can buy lamps for thousands of dollars. So these are not cheap, by the way. These are very expensive. So I'm not saying you rent out and buy them now, but somebody consider. Uh, they look like art pieces as a part of their value. The second part of value is the high quality sound. Uh, the third part, the third thing that they bring to the plate is, of course, the um, electronics and the functionality. Their amps, speaker, streaming system, all built in, pretty good app, works really, really well. So if you love sound, you love aesthetics and design, fantastic. Now here's the other thing. B&O products, if you pick the right ones, have a certain uh, cachet to them, kind of like MacBooks, and um, they retain a lot of a lot of their value. So when I bought these, one of the reasons I decided to buy them was because I noticed that they keep going up in value, and I've seen in the secondhand market that people are able to sell many years later for what they paid for them initially. So it's not like money out the door. Not as good as Eames. You got Eames furniture. I'll put a video right here too with the Eames furniture. The Eames furniture has even higher resale value. In like 10 years, 12 years, something like that, they've gone up 250% in value. So I can literally sell them for at least double what I paid. So this is a lesson that I learned ages ago from uh, one of my mentors, he said, buy very high end because they hold their value and gain value. So you're not actually losing money. So there you go. If you're into sound, aesthetics, uh, when you start doing really well, you've, you're, you're well ahead in terms of your savings, you got yourself properly invested, uh, you have no debt, and you got a little bit of funny money, then I would consider B&O. Now they also have other products. I'm not I'm not shilling for them because I'm not a sponsor or anything. They have other products that sound really, really good and not nearly as expensive. So you can start with that, like their uh, Bluetooth products, uh, little mini Bluetooth battery-powered speakers found, sound amazing. So I would suggest those. All right, we'll talk soon. Bye-bye.